Happy Sunday everyone. Today I get a little bit better so I'm gonna cook one of my favorite dish is Hausen sauce gizzard. So I have this gizzard, I defrost it. And this is um, three pounds of gizzard. So we're gonna clean up this really well. Make sure that you remove all those uh, stuff that should not be there. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So clean your gizzards really well and remove this yellow because that is not belong to the gizzards. This really is a lining when um, the chickens um, food after they uh, digest. So it's important to clean your gizzards really, really well. So let's clean up this. Okay hey guys, our gizzards is clean. So I'm gonna show what ingredients, seasoning rather, to put in our gizzards. So first thing, first is thyme, dill weed, basil, chives, celery, parsley, oregano, and red pepper crust, and then seasoning salt, black pepper, red wine, and then house and sauce. So let's begin. This recipe is kind of uh, time consuming, but it's worth it. So first thing first, I'm gonna add my seasoning salt, okay? Seasoning salt. Then I'm gonna add some dill weed, okay? Oh, just a teaspoon. Okay. Then we're gonna add the thyme. Another teaspoon. We're gonna add the basil. Another teaspoon. Okay. Then I like to put some celery. So another teaspoon of celery. Then we're gonna add some red pepper crust. It's just kind of giving a kick this recipe it's really kind of a little bit spicy then we're gonna add some chives another teaspoon okay then we we'll add a teaspoon of oregano okay then we can add another teaspoon of parsley Then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of black pepper. There we go. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of red wine. Okay, just estimate two tablespoons. Okay, then we're going to massage. Oh, by the way, the house and sauce that will be the last seasoning we're gonna add because again, this we have to cook this twice. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to pressure cooker. I want the gizzards to be really tender. In this recipe, in this recipe, it's really important that like the, the gizzards is tender. So we're gonna use a pressure cooker. We're going to use the instant pot. We're gonna cook this for 20 minutes, and then start once it's done. Then we're gonna recook again, and that's by the time that we're gonna add our house in sauce. Okay. So now we have to massage our gizzards and the seasoning really, really well. Okay, so let me get, okay, so this is done. You do not add any liquid in this recipe. Okay, allowing the meat to produce their own juice. We're gonna use the insect pot. And then, um, again, sit up for 20 minutes. I want a really, really tender um, gizzard. So let's put the gizzards, all of this. I'm just gonna pour it, okay there and then close it when I mean, it's nice when you have instant pot at home because uh, you can cook the rice for uh, 10 minutes okay so let's go the pressure cooker see pressure cook let me see I'll show you I'm gonna push that and then I'm going to adjust the, um, the temperature okay there we go so 20 minutes get the pressure then redo again, minus, because it's this 30. Okay, 20 minutes. That's it, guys. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so it's done. There we go. This is what it looked like. I guess, as you can see, the gizzards that we use, the pressure cooker, 
it produced a lot of juice. Okay, guys, so we put a, this, a tablespoon of cooking oil. We're not going to add any other seasoning because remember, we already seasoned our gizzard. So we're going to pour. Okay. Pour the gizzard here. We continue cooking. Okay, so we're going to allow this to cook until. Uh, we're gonna cook this probably, probably like another 15 minutes. I just want all the juice again uh, reduced. So we're gonna reduce the juice. Then we will add the last seasoning that we talked about earlier is the house and sauce. Okay. It's so good and it's very tender. Okay, guys. So next we're going to do is we're gonna thicken our sauce. I. I ran out of cornstarch, so we're going to use a flour. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of flour directly to my pan and then use the whisk. Whisk it really well. Okay. So the purpose of the one teaspoon is to thicken our gizzard. Okay, now we're going to mix it really well, as you can see, in a medium heat. Okay. Next, we're going to add the last ingredients. It is the house and sauce. So we're going to add two tablespoons of house and sauce. So just estimate. Okay, so that's one and that's two. Then we mix it, okay? But we continue cooking for probably another uh, three minutes to make sure that the flour is uh, thick, okay? And not thick, rather. Let me refresh that. Cook, rather. Okay. So, this is so simply. It's really tender. So, if you have a pressure cooker, that was the best to prepare this kind of recipe. Because it's really, really good. Your tender, your um, meat first. Okay, so we're going to turn this off. Okay. And we're going to cover allow our flour to be cooked completely okay i'm gonna prep my husband's lunch okay just get the steamed rice just like that then you put the meat on the top of your rice okay just like that There we go. So that's done for my husband's lunch.